apparently for the last two or three weeks, Don has been sporting a mustache. You know what's bad about Don? It, you're one of the nicest guys in the world, and that mustache makes you look like a used car salesman. Oh, God, I think I said that. Did I say that? I did say that. Here's what's going to happen. You're not going to shave it because we all want you to shave it, so you're probably going to keep growing it. That's what I'm, So I actually keep the mustache. I like it. That's my, that's my official stance on record. Seriously, he doesn't like my mustache? I mean, you got to understand that it's a matter of survival around here. We're going into January and February where the average low temperature in Wichita is 20 degrees Fahrenheit and it's 224 steps from this building to the building next door in a five foot elevation change and it can get pretty cold. So I, I got a couple options. I guess I can put a purple scarf on. I mean, really a purple scarf or a, a burglar hat and try to talk to customers or some, uh, I don't even know what that is, it's Jeremy's. Or I can wear a mustache, keep my upper lip warm during February. I'm kind of getting attached to it. And Don's boss, he doesn't like the mustache. Uh-oh. Well, that may have to go, Don. You know, I think uh, he needs to keep the mustache. So without the mustache, he looks like Pete. So we won't be able to, on the Don and Pete show, wouldn't be able to tell them apart. So <laughs> I think he needs to keep the mustache. Hi, I really feel that Don Shaw should lose his mustache. The days of the woolly, bushy mustache are so passe. He's not really making a fashion statement. He's making a fashion faux pas. Who are you talking about? Don Shaw. Who the heck is that? Let me see this. Hey, look. I'm Don Shaw. I sell used cars at Eddie's Toilet. That's him. That's him. Now I know this who you're convincing. talking about. Now I know who you're talking about. Don! Over there! Yes, we know who Don is. Do the do the roll thing. Do the roll thing. Yeah, she do the roll thing. <laughs> we just got us a new baby kitty. It's a little uh, striped gray kitty. And he loves his mouse. He uh, loves to play with it, throw it in the air, and chase all over the place. I brought him to work the other day. He saw Don, and he thought, Don stole my mouse. Don, give my kitty his mouse back. Don't take our opinion. Let's get your opinion. What do you guys think? Do we make Don shave his mustache or not? Here, scroll our website right here. Where is Look right here to find out our website. I will. I will vote. I will. I don't know what I. I don't know where I'm going to go with that vote yet. But I'm not you know. sure. It's kind of retro. You know, it's the old. It has to go you to know. Tom Selleck. You know. Yeah, the Tom Back Selleck up. made it. There's not too many people that can grow a big bushy beard and make it work. Freddie here sold me the Toyota Tundra, and yeah, he treated me right. You ask my wife, maybe not, but he treated me right. <laughs> She's not enjoying the payments, but that's life. I traded in a Ford for it, and it's a lot better. It's, this thing seems like a tank compared to what a Ford is, but it's a lot better. It has a lot more power on it, a lot of things to it. It's everything I want it to be and more. What I basically bought it for is the space in, behind the um, seats, because I got a granddaughter, and I always carry people with me, and it's turned into our family vehicle. So that's why I needed it. I was in the market for trucks, and Eddie's Toyota sent out a little thing about a contest, so I thought I'd go in to see if I could win the contest. Little did I know, and we came out here and looked at all the trucks out here, and I picked this one out, went back, and next thing I know, I'm driving it home. No hassles, nothing, I mean, easy as could be. Easiest thing in the world to do. I came in yesterday to get my truck washed, and while I was here, they had a motorcycle sitting on the floor, and I started talking about motorcycles, so I'm back today to buy the motorcycle. And as you can tell, it's not exactly warm outside. I'm going to drive that thing home. Sheesh. <laughs> It's the Pete and Don show with the professor again today, and we're here to show you a little bit about the Toyota Tundra truck. And we think trucks, and especially a tough truck, we think either a Ford Heavy Duty or a three-quarter ton Chevy or even a Dodge with a Hemi, but Toyota's got it all wrapped up in one truck called the Tundra. And not only does the name sound tough, but this is a truck that will do anything you want done. Professor's gonna highlight a little bit about it, but just to give you a little tip, 10,300 pound towing capacity. But let's not worry about that for right now. Let's show these folks how much room's in this thing. Let's look at the interior, guys. Most of the time when you use a truck, you're not using as a, as a truck. You're using it as a people mover. 
Uh, most people don't realize just how much room you have in here. So if you do take your family out to eat, you've got all that room, you got versatility. I can move this seat up, I can recline it back. The kids can enjoy themselves. A lot of guys that we sell to are using their truck for work. And so they need to be able to do a lot of things with it. And with this truck, I have my Bluetooth here so they can drive safely and carry conversation and continue their working like they need to. And it also has some other features that other trucks probably don't have. I've got a, a basically an office right here. I have the ability to put my business cards, put my hanging files. I can work with my laptop right off here. I can plug my laptop in right here. I've got a backup camera that is I'm having to back up to maybe tow something to the job site. I don't need two or three people trying to help me. I can just do it on my own. Pete, I'm pretty excited about all the features inside the cabin of this vehicle, but it is a truck, and so I guess I'm kind of curious to see what the heart of the beast looks like. 5.7 V8, 381 horsepower, 401 on the torque. And the I-Force, what does that mean? You know what, let's let the professor explain that one. Professor, need your help, buddy. The I-Force actually stands for Intelligent Force, uh, down to the dual VVTI with intelligence that varies the timing of the chain depending on your driving conditions, on down to the six-speed automatic transmission that actually learns your driving habits and makes little adjustments so that you have the optimum performance at all times. Toyota makes their trucks uh, like most heavy-duty vehicles. They open fully boxed in the front, rolled C in the middle, and open channel C in the back. When you have that type of towing capacity on the vehicle, you also want to have the peace of mind that you're able to stop everything you're able to tow as well. Toyota incorporates a 13.9 inch front rotors and 13.6 in the back. Now this is the largest in its class. Many other features we didn't get a chance to talk about. One, I just love the tailgate. I'm used to having to jerk a shoulder out every time you raise or lower one. And with the easy lift, the system Toyota is incorporated into this, that's not a problem and even the rear glass, rear defroster, and Pete, it rolls up and down. With all the competition that's out there, you owe it to yourself to come in and test drive this and see the rest of the features that, Pete, we didn't get a chance to show them. Two years of free maintenance, oil changes, tire rotations are up to 25,000 miles. Number one Toyota truck dealer in six states. Come see us. Half a car deal is when you've got um, uh, someone that you work with on a regular basis, like another salesperson, and uh, you go, hey man, I'm tied up. Mr. and Mrs. Jones need some help. I don't want to be waiting an hour till I get freed up. And he goes ahead and helps close your deal and gets Mr. and Mrs. Jones down the road, and you basically split the commission. So he gets one half of the car deal, you get the other half of the car deal. So basically it's just a split in the commission, and your customer's not waiting, and they're on down the road happy we like happy people now you don't get you know a, you know three salesmen involved but there's only two it's only gonna be always only one or two so that's a half coming up next on ICT reality TV when I win the weight loss competition I'm going to go to Vegas with my wife and probably eat I am gonna win this trip to Vegas yeah. I'm not ready for this humiliation looks like. Parents just don't understand the half of it. In the car. Come on. Lucky for me, my mom gets it. This Highlander is so cool, I actually want to be seen in it. Even my mom likes it. And she's like 37 years old. See the stylish new Highlander at youtube.com slash Highlander. Hi, I'm Anthony. For the viewers today, what we want to do is offer you a special. If you come down and see us right now, if you come down to Eddie's Toyota Wichita for ICT Reality TV viewers, you will be able to take advantage of a zero payments for the next six months. It's only for this week. If you call the number on the screen and you come see us, this week only, zero payments for the next six months. Come down and see us, Eddie's Toyota Wichita. This is Trooper Gary Warner with the Kansas Highway Patrol. We're here at Eddie's Toyota today, uh, spreading awareness about the dangers of texting or using the cell phone while you're driving. 
please avoid doing that while you're operating a vehicle. That distraction is incredibly dangerous. And don't forget to buckle up. Hi, I'm Caitlin with Fox and & Hound, and we're proud to be partnering with Eddie's Toyota and the ICT Reality Show. I'd like to invite you out on Tuesdays for a $2 draft night. We have 36 draft beers on special. USC Fight Nights are always a huge party here at Fox & Hound. Go to our website at www.fhrg.com for dates and times. Super Bowl is always a huge party here at Fox & Hound. With our five projection screens, you'll never miss a play. Come join us for the action. So come on down to Fox & Hound. It's a great place to hang out with friends or to come and party with everybody. Thank you.